know. And that's a wrap, folks. Woo. Everybody say hey. Ooh. What? Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Travelling back, ready to get back to the farm and back into riding all the horses in a week with Brody. Oh, it's so lovely to be home. I miss me, Brody. I miss me. Have you missed me? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've been on holiday. We've had an amazing time. Um, it's quite a feat to go away. Um, obviously with all the horses and all the hounds. And it, it, you know, it's a bit of a gargantuan effort. Look at me, I'm trussed up like a chicken. It's so cold. Um, and we couldn't do it without the help and support of uh, friends and um, really, really appreciate it. Um, Sue has been amazing and um, obviously, some of you may or may not know, I have a girl called Kelly who helps me with the horses in the week. And unfortunately, she had a really bad accident literally just before we went away and um, broke her elbow really badly. So she's had an operation, she's on the mend. Um, so we're wishing her the best. And I'm going to go and pop and see her this afternoon. Um, and so Sue, who helps me in the house, has done all the horses. Um, and Dilly, Kelly's husband, stepped in as well to help cover what she was going to do, um, which is amazing. And, and then I've had a team of riders with Sue, Kim, Katie, Rachel, Georgie and David. Um, so a massive thank you. They've all been ridden apart from Brody's had the week off and Cloud's had the week off and he's about to take my hat off my head. There you go. <laughs> what are you doing with that? You dropped it. Um, anyway, um, a massive thank you to all of them and I really, really appreciate it. Oh, somebody's bored of my little chat now, aren't you? <laughs> um, so, yes, I'm going to have a full-on week riding the horses again. I'm going to crack on with Valley this week, do some schooling and um, get her out to some jumping if I can, because I think I'm probably going to sell her and Brody needs to be cracking on with. So, um, yeah, he's taking my gloves now. So I've just been saying a massive thank you to everybody and there's very definitely somebody I've missed out because I just came in here and for anybody that knows, my indoor stables, when you switch the lights on, it pretty much stays the same. There's one mediocre light that is pathetic and you still can't see what you're doing. And I've just come in here, I've got the biggest surprise of my life and I switched the lights on. And it's just amazing. I was nearly blinded. Um, Sue's husband, Ray, I can only imagine, has put new lights up for me and it's, it's just amazing. The problem is I really need to paint now. <laughs> but, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be able to see what I'm doing now in the mornings. Well, I'm home after a fabulous family holiday with the um, surrogate child, Lucy and Rob. Um, we had a brilliant time and it's lovely to be home now. Look at this, come and say hello. Are you coming to say hello? Are you coming for your breakfast? Oh yes, oh yes. Come on in, come on in. Oh yes. Yes, I'm very excited to see me. So I can get all three. That's all right. So it's Valley's turn to be ridden. Um, I'm going to do some flat work. I don't have my Pivo charged and there's nobody here, so I can't film any of it. Uh, but hopefully she'll be a good girl. Um, I'm going to start doing a bit more flat work with her. Um, so I'm going to sell her, I think. A little bit small for me. And um, 
Uh, yeah, Charlie doesn't uh, need another one. So probably sell her. She's very sweet. She's hunted. If anybody wants to buy her, just send me a message. Um, she's very, very sweet, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Well, despite Brodie and Lizette being absolutely no help at all playing like that, she's been a very good girl. She's taken no notice of them. And, um, yeah, she's been a little superstar. Very sweet. Um, so, yeah, very pleased with her. You two are naughty reprobates. As it's too frosty to rise, turning Valley and Sufi out. Um, now, if they're a bit silly, I wouldn't turn them out because the ground's hard, but then they won't race around. You've got hair in the manger and um, they'll just smooch, so I know I can turn them out um, safely. And then I will do the same with Brody and Mazette, but I'll turn them out with an extra feed just so they don't gallop round and they'll just go out for a little bit because it already has the potential to gallop round. Um, fortunately, my school's frozen today. They've not even noticed yet that they've got a little feed out there and a little extra feed. And it'll be the first to realise. Maybe I might be my zart. See how long it takes. Ah, there you go. I'd love to know how they communicate. So we're frozen solid here. I've almost finished mucking out. Very bored, so giving you a little rundown of my daily routine. All horses fed. Cloud and Tate are in. They share a stable because they're out at night. You can't really see them, they're in there. And now I'm going to get Posh and Global in who also share um, a field overnight. Come on! Come on! Hello! Come on, Rodney! Come on, Rodney! In all fairness, chances to anything. It's all food related. It's very fickle. This morning, I will be mostly wearing as many clothes as is physically possible. It's Baltic. Little monkey, come on in. Yes, now. Yes. So I'm going to do a vlog on um, a week in Brody's exercise eventing prep uh, season. Um, let me cook it. My that's always cook it. Yeah, I manage it. Anyway, um, it's absolutely chucking it down. It's not very nice, but we're going to go in the school. Um, he's been hacked. Today is Tuesday. He's been hacked. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we're going to do a bit of flat work today. I've got a lesson tomorrow. Um, Thursday, I'll probably go for a bit of a canter. And then on Friday, I'm going show jumping. And then next week, I'm going cross-country schooling. So I'll probably do... This vlog will probably go out 
um, next week after I've been cross country schooling. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, he's a bit impatient today, so I've tied him up. I don't often tie him up to tuck him up, but he's come in a little bit excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tuck him up. Come along. It's all tacked up and it really is persisting it down. I am going to go out. I'll probably only do five or ten minutes because he's been out in the field all morning. Um, we'll see. I've got my waterproof trousers on. I haven't got, I've got, I can't find my waterproof sheet for him. So um, he'll have to grin and bear it, although he doesn't really like the rain. really really pleased despite the shooting rain uh, Brody's just been an absolute superstar um, my phone's a little bit fogged up as am I um, he Brody normally really struggles with you probably can't hear any of this with his medium trot so if he's excited and his tail's up in the air he does the most amazing medium trot extended trot but when he's relaxed, he just doesn't give it to you. Um, it's in there, but I haven't found the right buttons yet. I'm getting there, but we're getting there very slowly. But today, for whatever reason, I had a much bigger trot to start with. Um, I was really listening to my leg. And I haven't got spurs on, which I sometimes do. Um, and yeah, he was giving it to me a bit more. 
sort of almost like a proper medium trot. So really, really pleased. Um, Big pats for a clever boy. He was a very good boy, despite the weather. But he's in a bucket. little windy ride with Valley. come to Forest Edge, we're just waiting to walk the course and I'm doing the discovery and he was very good. Um, yeah, he jumped well. He was very keen and I was just trying to build on what we'd worked with the lesson I had with Matt Lanning, which was keep coming through the corners <clears throat> and not checking too much because... I tend to 
fiddle a little bit. Anyway, you can see there, fiddling. Um, but he was quite keen. So, uh, yeah, he jumped well. He came fourth in this class. I was very pleased. I did uh, first half as normal and the second half as against the clock. And I, I um, <clears throat> asked him to go on a little bit, which I haven't done before. And he responded well. He was very good. I could have gone a little bit quicker. Um, but I just I just put a little bit of extra pressure on him, not a lot. Cut a few corners, but it wasn't really a course where you could cut many corners. Um, so I just put a little bit of extra speed on. He was a very good boy. Um, yeah, so this is coming up to the last few fences. And, um, yeah, he was, as usual, he was very neat, very careful. Um, lovely to ride, actually. Really enjoyed it and um, wished I could show you the next class because he was very good. But uh, my friend recorded and didn't press start. Don't try this at home, girls. We're being very lazy. And I'm on Zach. Lucy's on Zach. Oh, I'm not very good at directions. Anyway. I know I've early hat on. Bloody hell, he's a long way to... Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's a long way down. Come on, run, Lucy, run. I always think when you're out riding, it's important to give off, especially when you've got a lot of horses and you've got blood hounds and to give off the right impression, so you should always be smartly turned out, always. Um, always grimy horses, always. Um, always be smartly dressed, absolutely. So I've gone for high-end riding boots today. Um, not everybody is fortunate enough to have these and, you know, certainly people often save them for best and don't ride in them very often. But I just thought, you know, I really need to give a good impression when I'm out riding around the countryside. So I've got my best boots on. Oh yes, riding in wellies. How smart am I? Who else rides in their welly boots? I have to say, I don't do it very often. I'm ready. He's hunting. Hold on. I never look neat and tidy. I need to sort my silk out. Um, <laughs> I can't drink it. I can't. Why can't you drink it? Because I'm. I will be inebriated. Is that word? Can you say it properly now? Inebriated. Say it with your we lips. We need a few for the hedge. Them. Are we doing the hedge? I think so. <laughs> okay then. Quick. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is our um, longest travelled um, person today. Two yeah, hours. two hours. I think I'm always the longest tonight, normally. Oh, uh, what, what, so what makes you want to travel so far? Oh, uh, it's just this. It's just this pack. It's Charlie, isn't it? It's Charlie's banter. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get it, boys. Get it, boys. Is it? Hey, boys. Right, you guys, should we, should we head off? Oh, yeah. Rach, yeah. come on. Are you going to take your hat off when you get going? No. 
There's a clip of me jumping the hedge and um, then this grey is Lucy on Zach. And then we've got Mr and Mrs Hurst following on. And then this bit is me coming again to give Jess a lead. Jess is in second place. Such fun. I've got it, but I can't guarantee I'll keep it. If I drop my phone, at least there's people around. <laughs>
Yeah, shorten the reins a bit, this left hand. So I'm having lessons with uh, Trish Gardner. So my regular uh, instructor, Janice, was Trish's head girl. And Trish comes up once a couple of months and she is amazing. She rode in the Seoul Olympics many years ago um, and she teaches Carl Hester and still actually rides out some of his horses despite being quite elderly now. Um, She's very punchy, she's very blunt, but she is absolutely amazing and really, really helped me today. Um, so very, very honoured to have lessons with her. Just to lift his head up. Hold on. Now leg yield again. Leg yield press. Keep the right rein. Canter aid. Now, right rein. Now do it again. Turn down the centre line now. So trot and turn down the centre line so you can leg yield a bit more. Reins are a bit long. Keep his head. That's it. Now can't turn. Right there. Oh, lovely. Yeah. See, I mean, to, for a counter transition, that's another two or three miles. Yeah. How does this counter feel? Yeah, nice. Looks happy. He's not chomping, you know. No. You see, he's not chomping. Looks very relaxed. It feels, I feel like I've got a nice connection. Good. And I also feel what you mean about my hands being a bit lower. Be low and yeah. very still. You're never pulling back. Now trot. Now see if you can trot slow. Trot slow now. Click at him a bit if he wants to walk. Click it slow, 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 slow. Now forward again. Forward again. Go forward, go forward, go forward. That's all it doesn't matter. But that, that's what you've got to practice. That's your homework. Yeah. Slow again, slow. Don't sit, don't sit. Hand still. Slow, 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 slow. Forward again. Perhaps much Very better. Very good. I mean, this is, a, this is a seven horse instead of a six horse. You know, a six, 70% horse instead of a 60% horse. That would horse. be good. It's got to be good. Obviously very trainable because he's learned quite a lot this lesson. Shall we change the rein? The lot. outline is quite that different. Better in the outline. Mm. outline is just completely different. That looks really that feels really nice. It looked lovely. lovely. And it looked really um powerful, his little jiggy trot. Yeah. Yes, the sooner he learns PF the better. And that's what Ryan will help you with. Look at that, look at that. Mm -hmm. Eight. Uh, like I say, it's now a 70% mark instead of a 60%. Yeah. Keep those flipping legs still there. Keep those flipping legs still. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just in case you can't hear. I do say well, that. Anyone who has a lesson with me has to be with me saying what I think. I don't say it's good if it's not good. But the thing is, you have to have this sensitivity to the aids and the horse must obey the at once. If you desensitise it by niggling away, I mean this outline is just quite different. Quite different. I hope you'll see this on the vid. Yeah. Because it does look so much better. I can feel it. Wrigley ankles. No, look at that. He hasn't been behind the vertical for the last 10 minutes. So I've come back to our local uh, venue, First Edge Arena. Um, I have regular shows, it's a great venue. And. Um, but this time I've entered the, started at the metre five. Um, so this is Brody's first class. This was the one where last week I got a little bit overexcited and fired him at the last fence. Anyway, he was a very good boy. Um, I've gone back to the rubber bit. 
and um, just constantly trying to work on me, keep coming in a rhythm, not not hooking too much, not faffing, just keep flowing. And he was very good as normal. He's very chilled today, maybe a little bit too chilled. I'd like him a little bit um, livelier, but I mean, I'm not complaining. He was brilliant and he raises his game when he goes into the competition into the arena, so um, I just cut a corner there, cut inside. So the first half is just not timed and the second half is timed. And again, on a more experienced horse, I probably would have turned inside that blue one, but that's a bit much for Brody at the moment. Um, and then here I cut in and jumped fence 10 on an angle. And he was he was mega, which meant I was then tight for the next one. But again, he was great. Came round. I was on the wrong leg, but I kept the leg on. So yeah, nice clear, and he came second. Very pleased. And then this is the meter ten, the newcomers. So this is the first time he's jumped this height. I walked the course. I was very tempted to do the second I part of the time it. section, cutting some corners, but I decided to rein it in and go for a nice smooth round, give him time, as it's the first time at this height. And there's a water dry as well in a minute. Again, he was good. I tried to just keep coming in a rhythm. I don't always pull it off, but... So I was very tempted to turn inside that one, but... And this this is the water tray, which he gives quite a bit of air. Um, the good thing about Brody is he doesn't really look at things too too much. And then after this one, you could have cut in between about three fences, but it meant you turned quite tight to a very big parallel double. Um, and I just thought that's a bit unfair on his first one, but he pinged. Um, and yeah, he was very good. Um, and again, I went round the houses a bit around here but I just gave him a bit of time as I say I'm very competitive so it's it takes quite a lot for me to rein it in yeah coming to the last fence and yeah chuffed to bits he was very good I didn't get placed in this one but he did a double clear which is a qualifier so very pleased so I was very conscious I haven't done a vlog for a while um, so this is a bit of a mismatch, um, just a, catching up on the horses and Brody since we've been back from holiday. If you like it, subscribe to my channel, give me a like, leave me a comment. See you soon, bye.